Hello everybody, welcome to Quickfire Rounds Against the Clock. Um, well, we're going to fail at that anyway. Uh, there's three minutes before this is due to go out, so obviously it's not going to go out at the time today. I did put a post in the community tab on my channel about this um, being just late today. Uh, but nevertheless, they are going to be out, don't worry. As you're probably seeing now, that was stupid to say. But anyway, um, it's Emmett, Hank, Maggie and Parnell. Basically what has happened here, ladies and gentlemen, is my sleep pattern is absolutely dog water. Um, just to not, you know, get demonetized for being an adult within the first minute of my recordings. Because, you know, we are in the post-era of internet content massacration. Uh, with, you know, censorship and all that kind of stuff. Um, I basically what happens is I go to sleep at like three or four o'clock in the morning and if I'm not in work I wake up at the same time the following afternoon, three or four in the afternoon. And basically that's what has happened here. I woke up at about three today, three PM. So you know depression basically, but you know just have to deal with it sometimes. As I say, I've, I've mentioned it before in my other videos, it's uh something that'll happen from time to time. Uh, I did actually record a video earlier on. I had to get my dinner though at the same time. Um, I was going to try and sneak it in there, but I recorded the entire video and went to watch it back and realised that I didn't turn the fucking game volume down because I was doing DVD recordings without commentary uh, the night before and basically you couldn't even hear the commentary, so it was kind of stupid to just have the avatar sort of animated and not actually having any sort of audible uh, voice in the background, so I had to write that one off. And by that time, it was about half three. I need to get me dinner, so... That was when I put the post out, just saying, right, it's gonna be late, because <laughs> I need to get something to eat, so... And here we are. Okay, so I guess I just hallucinated these uh, mana striders that were here, these candy striders, sorry. Are you traversals? Yes, you are. We'll take that. History repeats itself because I did get this in the round that it won't be going on YouTube for the reasons I've just mentioned. So we will grab uh, traversals. Okay, I guess I'll go for that one then because I was going to go for the other one. They don't chase very far, truck jaws, so as long as you move out of the general area, they'll leave it alone. We are going to grab the stage 2 here. Let's get up there a little bit. Out of the way, it shall do. We've now escaped stage one. Shit, I do not want anything to do with you yet. Thank you very much. Back the fuck up, Maggie. Is it Maggie in this one? I don't know who it was. I can't remember. I think it was Maggie. It looked like Maggie. By silhouette. Allow me to get dressed first. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be that. We'll go in now. It is Maggie. Okay, there is a daisy. So that weird little voice distortion was me itching my foot. Thought it was worth mentioning. Right, so it's Emmett in this one. It was Lazarus in the other one, so I just need to remember that we don't need to prioritise going after the medic after this. There she is, she's down because we get the successful isolate. Stupidest place ever to use a tongue grab. There's about three million things in the way of it. I'm gonna go for Daisy here though to prevent her getting this very quick revive. There we go. Emmett can revive at range though, so block that off. Just give us some room to do a bit of damage in here. I think we did get a beam man down there. Sit the fuck down there. And we'll get out. Got no armor.
do believe there's supposed to be colonists. I don't actually remember seeing any though, so I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. I'm pretty sure. I mean, colonists do exist on this map, so... Yeah, don't know about that. Let's get our armor back up and then we'll go for another one. Because we do want to get a couple more strikes. I really don't want birds ignore me. Thank you very much. Or is dead, apparently. It's fine. So that means that um, Emmett is going to revive them all, winning that countdown timer. You can destroy the beacon to remove it. It is better than Laz in a sense that it's it revives everybody instantly when that count reaches zero. I'm just going to get uh, stage three ready here. Um, but it's also worse in that the monster can actually deny it completely. The lads can actually sneak in and revive teammates if the monster doesn't make note of it. There is colonists, okay, I just didn't pay attention whatsoever. Do that. Give me and Maggie some privacy. That's... I'm just going to say that should be uh, down. Uh, we want that. Well, I just literally broke it, so. Good. Can. Uh, yeah. Taking a lot of fucking damage to do this, so yeah, I was gonna say we can remove Maggie. It don't really mean anything because we're gonna get to stage three here anyway, so and we've got that. Nevertheless, we will grab our power spike. There we go. So we're about to be stage three. This is the final stage. This is where monsters are the strongest, obviously. We get huge amounts of HP, huge amounts of damage, and the Hunters regret their own existence in this phase of the game. Because this is what they are supposed to be deployed by the law, and also just the game itself, to prevent. Because <clears throat> the stage 3 monster is... Well, it's not funny anymore, put it that way. Holy shit, that is an entire clan of... Uh, Canyon Striders, we do get move speed out of this. Decimation for no particular instance whatsoever because I'm actually full armour, so I immediately feel bad and I am going to hell. Uh, they should all be near the relay by this point in time. Yes, they are. Ooh, is that going to be direct? Not quite, but we still hit it. Again, we do just want to go for Maggie because Maggie uh, brings domes with her. We need to remember that we do have Hank. Can do. Let's wall that. Stage 3 wall for you, by the way. I'll show you this beacon now, so it's up there. So you can actually remove this. There it is. There you go. So that's now gone. So you go back to the regular respawn timer. He's going to get another heal off it. No, isn't it? Nice. I would like to go for Hank here. Uh, actually, I would like to get out here. Because we've got no armour. Hans literally throwing healing booze at me for some reason. Don't know why, but. Sure.
go back immediately in. We're probably not going to eat too much into the uh, drop animation with uh, Maggie, but what the fuck are you doing up there? That's weird. We'll take on Hank and his massive HP bar for some reason. I don't know what causes this, but it's, it's a bit weird to see. Sit right in the middle of that. Ah, oh, shit! We actually do get a bit scuffed, though. Hank's uh, shielding everybody at the moment. I don't know where it was that they were... It's fine, just finish Maggie off and then go for the beacon. Please, game. Thank you. Where's the beacon? actually bouncing over here. And again. Good. Try to grab yeah we did actually. I'm gonna confirm that. These guys do die permanently. So that's a source of damage gone. We are gonna get out though because we're at small amounts of armor here and we've only got 19 seconds left. Arnell's got his uh, shield up so we'll probably be uh, facing another wave here. Grabbable, that maybe. Don't think that reaches. No, would have hit him, but it was out of range. <laughs> Fucking good luck grabbing the right one there. Need Hank. Remove the shields from the team. There we go. It's quite a decent use of that, to be honest. Can't actually reach at the moment. <coughs> Give me that. Good. The same to that, that's fine. Just pull him in with that wallet. It's just Parnell left now. And Daisy. Should be able to fight through this. We need Daisy where she is. Colonist doesn't matter in this instance. We're getting really low on HP. There we go. Shit. Twelve forty-one. It is definitely past four o'clock now. It's just something that's going to happen, unfortunately. It's just the way I am. My sleep pattern is absolutely fucking bukkakied. So it is what it is. Depression does that to you, ladies and gentlemen. I know that people don't really talk about it on the internet, and you know, I don't like to be a downer, but it's just something that I think people should speak about sometimes. Um, but that's a fucking different topic you know uh but there's the video hope you've enjoyed and i will hopefully see you for the next one hopefully at four o'clock tomorrow but yeah there you go <clears throat> bye